Hello, today I'm reviewing the Light Gray Tarot from Light, Light Gray Art Lab. This is a beautiful deck and it's composed of, of course, 78 cards by 78 different artists, which is really interesting. This was the third deck that I bought and I hadn't used it very much um, when I first got it because I was still new to tarot and I was just really relying on <clears throat> the traditional symbolism. But now that I go back to it, I've after having learned the meanings more, um, it's actually really interesting to use. So with your deck, um, I forget how much it was, I think it was about $20 for the deck, and with your deck you get a little black book with very traditional meanings. The meanings are both upright and reversed, and you also get um, a couple spread ideas. And in the back, you get the name of all the artists for the cards. And also on the cards, you'll see the name of your artist for that particular card listed at the bottom. This is the back of the deck. It is completely reversible. The cards are um, typical size for a tarot deck. So here's um, Steampunk Tarot, pretty much same size. The card quality is not the greatest. Um, it's a little thin, papery, it's not laminated. So I'm not sure how long they'll last. I hope they last for a very long time. They're beautiful cards. But I guess the good part of having a deck um, different, you know, paper quality is that it shuffles really easily and these don't slide around too bad. So that's a good thing about this deck. So I'm going to just go through all the cards and show you um, each one. They're beautiful, wonderful, very artistic, and I love the different interpretations for the cards. Some are very different, like the Fool. Some are very traditional, like the Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. I really like this card a lot. Very interesting take on an Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. Beautiful. And of course all your cards are numbered, which is nice. And they all have their label. The Chariot. Strength. Beautiful. The Hermit. Will of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. That's an interesting one for death. Temperance. Double. The Tower. I really like this card. The Star. Beautiful. The moon. <laughs> Some of these are just really cute too. Very cartoonish. The Sun. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. I love the light coming behind her head. <clears throat> judgment. And this is an interesting take on judgment. Very neat. The world, again, cartoonish. Some of these are. But still, pretty cute. Pretty traditional symbolism in there. The Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. And um, another thing is since these are not, I mean the pips aren't labeled, you might have trouble at first remembering the cards, but um, once you learn your traditional meanings, you'll, you'll know what the cards are. And most of them put, you know, enough symbolism in the card. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. This one's interesting because they look happy. 
whereas traditionally um, they're not. They're kind of fighting. But it's still cute. Six of Wands, very different from what I think of with the Six of Wands, but I like it. Again, very different. Seven of Wands, but I guess the meaning is there. Eight of Wands, interesting. Nine of Wands, I like this. <clears throat> Definitely shows the strength of the Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands, very traditional. Page. Knight. Queen. Very traditional. And King. That's an interesting one. Ace of Pentacles. And this suit in particular, I didn't see um, very much symbolism, traditional symbolism. But this one, yeah, this one. Here we go, three of pentacles. Unless you really know your card meanings, you're, this is going to be a hard one for you. Four of pentacles. Five of pentacles, very interesting. Six of Pentacles, again, um, not, I mean, it, you'll have trouble remembering what it is. I don't even see a Pentacle in this card. Um, I'm not sure if the flowers stand for Pentacles or not. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I really like this one. It's a very interesting take on the card. And the Nine of Pentacles, even though I don't see the Pentacles, or the Nine of them, um, we still have the Lady Affluence and her bird, and I, I had trouble with this at first, but now I'm really glad that this card um, is this way. It just totally reminds me of the meaning of the um, Nine of Pentacles. It's very cool. Ten of Pentacles doesn't really look like the meaning to me, but it's still a cool card beautiful. Page of Pentacles. Knight. Queen. That's just too cute. I love it. And the King. So it's interesting that she's young and he's older. But again, these were different artists. And I like that one too. Ace of Cups, very traditional, beautiful. The Two of Cups. Three of Cups. I had trouble with this at first um, until I knew the meaning of the card. So, Four of Cups. This is funny. And there's our little guy. <laughs> Very interesting. The Five of Cups, that's just beautiful. I love it. Six of Cups, that's a very traditional image for this card. Seven of Cups, pretty traditional. Eight of Cups, very traditional. Nine of Cups. Interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Ten of Cups. Very traditional here. We have all the symbols. Page of Cups. This guy's a little strange. Knight of Cups. I love this card. It's beautiful. Queen of Cups, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. That might be one of my favorites. And the King of Cups, I like that too. 
Ace of Swords, very traditional here. Two of Swords, pretty traditional. Three of Swords, very traditional. Four, traditional. Five, um, interesting. Abby's interesting. They look more like they're dancing than they're, um, you know, fighting or taking or winning. Six of Swords. I generally think of this card as a sad card, um, given the meaning and the traditional symbols, and this one kind of makes it look hopeful. But there's also hope with that card, so I like this interpretation. Kind of just healing. Seven of Swords, very interesting. Eight of Swords, that's pretty traditional here. Nine of Swords, pretty traditional. Ten, yep, yeah, very traditional. Page. Knight, I like that, that's interesting. Queen and the king. And I like how these two look like they go together here. So that's the light gray tarot. Um, I highly recommend this deck. It can be a little daunting if you haven't um, learned tarot meanings or tarot symbolism. Um, but I'm really glad that I picked it up because it's just beautiful. And I hope, actually, I'm going to start using this one um, more often now that I know the meanings. So. I definitely recommend it. I'll provide a link where you can find it. Um, it's a great way to support this art lab and um, this project in general, which I think is just wonderful. So thank you for watching.